Hi everyone, so today's video is all about trimming guinea pigs nails. To start off with, I'm just going to go through a bit of information. So it is really advised to cut your guinea pigs nails as frequent as need be, so that they do not become overgrown and cut into your guinea pigs foot pads, as this would really hurt. Cutting your guinea pigs nails is essential to a healthy and happy guinea pig. A lot of people don't really think about nails, but it's actually one of the most important things about caring and maintaining a guinea pig. Imagine not cutting your nails, how uncomfortable would it be? Very. So cutting guinea pig's nails is quite straightforward. The only thing you need to be aware of is the quick, and the quick is a blood vessel which you need to be careful you do not cut because this will bleed and hurt your guinea pig for a short amount of time. If your guinea pig has white nails, this is rather simple and straightforward because you can see the quick. Um, it's just a little pink thing. You'll see it very obviously. If your guinea pig has black nails, it's advised to shine a torch underneath it just so that you can see it because otherwise it's quite tricky to see where it is and know how much to cut off. So the items that you will need are some nail clippers. You can get pet nail clippers, you can buy those and they're not very expensive. Or you can actually use human nail clippers. I prefer the pet ones because they have a little curved bit and they make it really easy. And they're nice and sharp so that they cut the nail in one go instead of like flattening the nail or making it painful for your guinea pig. The next thing you'll need is a towel just to wrap your guinea pig around in case of any bleeding as well to stop the bleeding suddenly and um, just for comfort. You may need some septic powder or just plain flour to stop any bleeding in case you do cut the quick. Um, plain flour does work perfectly fine so don't worry about going out and buying special powder. If your guinea pig is a bit of a fidget, a treat such as apple or carrot may be a good idea to keep them distracted and occupied. So Minstrel is my model for today. Minstrel isn't that used to having her nails clipped. She never used to have them in her old home and she's nearly five years old. Apart from she has been having them regularly with me for about a year now so she is getting used to it. She's still very scared and skittish of it though and that's why she sits so still usually. Um, so she's a great little model and let's just crack on with it. So Mistral's quick is quite far down which means I can't cut off too much at a time. If you're really inexperienced at trimming nails I recommend you let them grow just that little bit longer just so it's easier for you to cut them because then it's really clear where the quick is. When they're a little shorter or the quick is really far down it's quite hard to do but I have a very very good steady piggy so she's really really helpful in situations like this. So as you can see Minstrel's nails do need a trim, nothing major, they just need a quick trim. So I'm going to start straight away. So I have my little blanket and I just pop Miss Piggy down. Um, I usually give her a few strokes and I talk to her first just to keep her comforted. And then I'll grab my nail clippers and get straight to it. So I always start off with the more trickier nails and those are definitely the front. So I just lift her up slightly just so that I can see where I need to cut the nails. A little tip is definitely to cut less than more. If you cut too much, you have the issue of possibly cutting the quick and causing a little pain to your guinea pig. The main thing is that you really don't want nail trimming to be an unpleasant time, so definitely cut a little less and have the risk of them being a little longer than you hoped instead of cutting them and making it a painful and not enjoyable experience. So I just go through each nail at a time, um, she's really good, she just sits here usually. She may move a little bit um, but nothing too major and I can definitely work with her, she's really good like that and she makes nail trimming a lot easier for me. After I've done a nail she tends to just kick back as if to say get off me, I felt that um, doesn't mean it particularly hurt her, I just don't think she likes the weird feeling of it. And obviously I am touching her feet and stuff and she's not used to that much human contact. Um, definitely not as a baby, she wasn't used to it. So um, makes my job a little harder but she's still really, really good. I definitely recommend that if your guinea pig is not letting you do one paw on one nail or something, you definitely just switch over, change to a different one. Also you don't have to cut all the nails in one day if they're really tough. It's okay to just cut one little hand one day and then the next day you can try again because the last thing you want them is them getting really, really irritated and making it a really stressful time. So you can just cut a few toes at a time if that's what you would prefer. The key thing is to constantly talk to your guinea pig, tell them it's gonna be okay, 
for you to be relaxed and calm and they will feel it and sense it and they may react the same in return um, also take everything slow there is no rush um, and like I said keep changing leg foot arm whatever um, to keep them content and happy and don't pressure them or force them or use any sort of pressure or pain to them to get them to sit still or anything if they're not having it today go back another day and try it again I can't emphasize that enough you definitely don't want to make this torture time or make it anything that they don't like so definitely take your time and don't worry I'm not very experienced um, and I've had my guinea pig for nearly a year now um, but that's fine I'm learning and so will you if you're really really nervous about it I really recommend you get your vet to do it and show you how to do it um, it will only cost you a small amount of money and they can just show you how you do it just to make you feel a bit more confident or you can be like me and go straight in um, but I did have a very experienced friend next to me who helped me when I first did her nails but don't feel bad or ashamed if you do cut the quick your first time or so just get a bit of plain flour or special powder and pop it on the end of their little bleeding toe or fingernail and it will be fine you don't need to worry about it just make sure you keep it clean so that is just how I trim slash clip minstrels nails. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to leave any comments or questions below and I'll reply as soon as possible. I'll see you all next time. Bye.